It's Madden NFL 24, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Carolina Panthers and the Buffalo Bills, and it comes your way next. We are just about four miles off the shore of Lake Erie at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Buffalo Bills. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnovers, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Young wasting no time right to the air. Open here, Adam Thielen. And he's going to be dropped following a pick up a seven past the 30 to the 32. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. As a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go and make the tackle right away. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. And returning it, here's Hamler. Found good room to run there, returns it 14 yards. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. For the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between he is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. On first down, Allen. And his throw is incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Now a second and ten. Now Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. 
That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Now they need two. Here's third down. Davis, he'll try to run for it. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. This is taken at about the 14. It will be 37 yards there on the punt. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. They'll start on the ground with Hubbard. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's the linebacker, Matt Milano, getting up and stopping him for a loss. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Now Young. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Third and four. Young to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. It's Young on first down. Short throw hauled in by Trimble. Pulling a gain of three on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look <laughs> of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. First down, they'll stay on the ground with Hubbard. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. On second down, here's a run with Hubbard. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. A much different second drive here, Charles. They go three and out the first time. This time, they've been able to sustain something downfield. And that's what often happens. You get the game started. You know, you have to get your footing underneath you. You have to get used to the flow of the game, the speed of the game. And sometimes that first drive is more of a probing drive. It appears they found something here in the second one. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. 
He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. On second down, Young. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Young on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Oh, he left this one out to the right. That's a bad miss. No good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Boy, that's three points you really expect to have. That's nothing more than a lack of concentration to me because an NFL kicker should make this kick in his sleep. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Here's Allen on first and ten. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Allen going to throw. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Throwing his Allen on third. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and that's going to make it fourth down. Obviously, they didn't get everything they wanted on that completion, but they put themselves in a spot where you've got to at least think about going for it. I know where we are on the field, but still, you've got to think about it, don't you? Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. This is one of the dangers of going for the punt block. And you know before you even call going for the block, it's a risk-reward play. So many factors come into it. They went after it, and you know punters, what they do? They leave their leg up in there, an extra count or two, hoping someone comes into contact. Allen off the play fake. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Good sure hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he's able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? Allen now on first down. Completes it to Coleman. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. No score after one on EA Sports. 
Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Up the middle, it's Cook. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Here's second and three. To the air, Allen has his man, it's Shakur. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. James Cook, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Bills post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, they were looking to pick up the first down on third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for, finding the end zone as well. And oftentimes in short yardage situations, you get a lot of defenders stacked near the line of scrimmage partners. So if you can get past that first wave, there's usually room to roam, and he found it. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. To the touchdown bass to kick it away and they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25 the possession of the football goes over to Carolina and they have to feel like they missed on an opportunity for points last time when they couldn't connect on that short field goal try and no doubt about it because they were counting on those points in today's NFL well, let's face it, that's really a chip shot, right? That's anything inside 40. Yeah, they, they're counting on that going through the post. But we've seen it happen to teams before. Some of the best kickers in the world can miss kicks like that. Can they come back now and redeem themselves? Now a first down throw for Young. Being chased out left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. Here's Young from the shotgun. He'll get this complete to the running back, Hubbard, and he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in the open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. Meanwhile, the throw by Young was knocked away and incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. He'll look to throw. Over the middle, complete into the hands of Tremble. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 42. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Straight ahead with Hubbard. Down inside the 40.
And they'll come up second and seven. And they'll go again here with Hubbard. And this time not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. A give up the middle, Hubbard. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky. That play only picked up five yards. Second and five. Out of the gun, here's the give to Hubbard. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. From the red zone now, Young. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. We'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who was shaken up on that last play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. They'll run here with Hubbard. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Chuba Hubbard, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine-yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And we are tied at seven. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was Chuba Hubbard who finished it off with a touchdown run. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. It's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's a second and five now from the 25. They run it again with Cook. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. 
All I can say about this play is that someone's living right. I mean, he's trying to gain yardage, trying to get upfield. Ball comes free. It, what's that panic that we've talked about oftentimes that you feel when you yeah, lose the ball? You can sense it. Oh, you can sense it. And somehow he got to it and was able to recover it for his squad. Here's Allen to throw it. Now, a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Carolina getting set to take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. 83 yards on the ground for Hubbard is that last run of first down. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. First and ten, Young. Dancing to his left. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Young trying to hurry them up to the line here. Young looking to throw on second down. That's complete out right to the tight end Tremble. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Young looks to throw on first down. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Offense is moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. He'll drop to throw. His throw incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, they got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll run a draw now with Hubbard. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They missed a field goal earlier, so possibly as a result, that's why they're going to try to go for it here on fourth down. Now Young. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13, and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. So after the conversion on fourth, here's first and 10 just outside of the red zone. Here is Young. Now set up the screen here for Hubbard. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Go. 
second down and four. Now here's Young. That caught by Tremble. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. They'll throw again. Young. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. And no signs of the field goal unit. They're going for it on fourth down. That is caught. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. What an excellent end result for them. But let's go back to the decision, first of all, to go for it all on fourth down. A lot of pressure on the quarterback's shoulders, but they knew he could handle it. Makes the right read there, gets the ball to his receiver. They get the first down. It's now first and goal. To throw Young. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. A great play there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Panthers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. That is a near perfect end of half drive right there. And we've seen that many times from the best in the league. But do you really expect to see it done that well by a rookie? And how about the timing? Finishing it almost near the zeros, as you said, right at the end of the half. Great momentum to carry into the locker room. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. is to snap this once and that'll do it for the first half of play so we have reached halftime with a touchdown that's the difference on the scoreboard as we'll head down to Orlando that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report coach all right Brandon thanks very much welcome everyone to our brand new studios here's halftime report Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. A one-touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it 
on EA Sports. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The Bills offense set to take over to begin quarter number three. But Charles, we saw pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Shakir hauls it in. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. So the shotgun snap to Allen. This is Coleman with a grab. A gain of eight there on the play. And now one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Allen looks to throw on third and one. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And again, it's Allen. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Open man is Samuel complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 38-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected. But this is a good pickup here for the first down. Allen now on first down. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Sean Robinson, the defensive tackle, getting in there for a loss of five. And we all know how talented this guy is. He's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Here's Allen setting up the screen for Cook. Oh, look at the juke. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. Allen now looks to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. On second down, Cook. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15. And they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. 
142 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go around, they won't throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. And now they'll throw with Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Khalil Shakir from eight yards out. And the Bills are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, in that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. An extra point by Bass, up and good, and we are tied at 14. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. It's Young on first down. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Young to throw it. And that's off the mark, incomplete. And they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Young off the play fake. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll punt it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Hamler now on the return. So a solid punt, but also a nice return there of 14 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because, remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. First down, here's the run with Cook, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. 
And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. Now Allen. This taken in by Kincaid. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle is made at the Panthers 33. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Throwing his Allen on third. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills have come back to regain the lead. Well, a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Amir Smith-Marset now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Carolina offense about ready to go. The last series form, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Young's throw complete to his receiver, Thielen. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards that time for number 19. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. The throw over the middle taken in. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On the handoff, it's Hubbard. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, 
Their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And Young's throw there incomplete. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Well, this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Buffalo set to get the football back here. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen over the middle, the catch by Coleman. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and just, they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it. But what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Allen looks to throw on second down. Has his man. It's Shakir. Seven yards there on the first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. So from just across the midfield stripe, here's second and nine. Again, it's Cook. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier, probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. Allen from the gun on third down. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. Trailing here in the second half, went for the aggressive play, got a little too aggressive. You've got to know when to pull up, or if you're going to go for it, how to take your body across a punter's body and not into him. Not a good play at all. Let's go, man. 
So first and ten after a big mistake on fourth down with a penalty. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. It sure did, and remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. Cook up the gut. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to swell the lead to six. The kick by Bass is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Young looks to throw on first down. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It was Von Miller who shot in there to get him down. That sack doesn't change their offensive game plan. They always want to air it out and try and get the ball downfield quickly. They're going to have to block a little bit better, though, because the urgency and pressure just increase. Twice the distance now just to get a first down and one less down to try and get it. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. On the give, this is Hubbard. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. And the penalty helps, but not a whole lot. It's still third and long. Now here's Young. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Young on first down. That caught by Tremble. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. First down, Young. And his throw here is incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. They'll try again here, second and ten. They'll throw again, Young. Short throw there, caught by Thomas. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 36. Young. That's complete out right to the tight end, Trimble. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Young to throw. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Deontay Johnson, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Panthers are an extra point away from going back on top here in the fourth. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point, and then their defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you've pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's celebrating over there. Who's calling up the defense to make sure they're focused because they still have some work to do? A very important extra point there, up and good. And that is going to put them on top by a point, and it sets us up for quite a finish. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects not to return it. Allen and the Bills now down 21-20, 80 seconds remaining. And they need about 35 yards to get in range for a winner as they come up on first down. To throw is Allen. Completes it to Coleman. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn it into a big gain. Now second and four. Now Allen. That's complete, it's Cook. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Now the Bills are gonna use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Two 
Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Here's Allen. It's caught by Coleman. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. This is first and ten. Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. The clock reading 40 seconds. Here's second and 10. Throwing Allen. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And the return across midfield into the 46-yard line. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. Victory all but assured now as they take a knee here and they're going to escape with a one-point victory. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Young's going to take a knee here, and that should just about do it. And how about this finish? Able to take a knee, run out the clock, and close this game out by one point. You talk about <laughs> how, many, how many coaches we talked to. They all said the same. All I want to do is win by yep. one point. That got tested in this one. Yep, and that cliche rings true. A single penny separates this one. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.